Hi guys, and it's Bungie Day. I got a few things from IG and and Bungie that have not been released yet, so enjoy. These Guardians show us what we are and what we will be again. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Push back the darkness. Rated T for Teen. Destiny is not just a thing that you, you take home, you play, and then you drop. Like, we're building an experience that you can live in. We want to give people ways to own the world. To say, I was there day one. The game itself, obviously, is your portal into another universe, but it doesn't just stop there. So we've got three editions. We've got our Ghost Edition, the Guardian Digital Edition, and the Limited Edition. One of the really cool things about the limited edition is when you open it up, you get sort of sci-fi element, the steel book, and you get sort of the fantasy element, the sort of leather-bound book. We have things that all tell different stories. Photographs from the traveler's first visit, patches from the Cosmodrome. We also have this really wonderful Arms and Armaments book. This Arms and Armaments book is, is like a field guide. This is something that someone took time and care in this doomed city to put together within the official text of the field guide has information you need to set up the foundation of the world, but then the handwritten notes are littered with secrets and riddles that you'll be able to unfold as you actually step into the game. We scrutinized every little line, every little embossing, the, the print techniques to make sure it felt unique, but also really told the story of the game. The limited edition is packed into the ghost edition. When you open the top, you're going to see the ghost, your companion in the game. And it's not just the regular ghost you get in the game, it's a special skin, a special shell. So everybody else will get a white one, you'll get this red one. It's such a direct companion that you have in the game, a direct relationship you have with the ghost all throughout the campaign. So we thought, why not bring that to life? Why not allow players to have that with them in the real world? Whoa, hello. This place is littered with pre-Golden Age <laughs> artifacts. How true. <laughs> We're also giving you a ship variant, which you see in every single mode as you're forming up your fire teams, going off into competitive multiplayer. And we also have a player emblem, which is super exclusive. Other players will see it and ask you where you got it. I wasn't talking to you, little light. I'm a ghost, actually. 
So if they want that ghost shell, if they want that player ship, if they want the emblem, we're actually adding that in as well in the Digital Guardian Edition. Each Collector's Edition comes with our Expansion Pass, which includes Expansion Pack 1, The Dark Below, and Expansion Pack 2, House of Wolves. And these aren't just map packs, they expand on the story, add new weapons and gear, add new content for every mode. You will uncover the reality as you play. Pieces of the puzzle will start to click together, realities will become crystal clear, or, or they won't. And you'll have to wait for it to unfold. This is a living world. Destiny is built to be an ever-expanding universe. People who love immersing themselves in the world are really going to find something great in any of these editions. Command decision. I am not going back in that box. All right, so this is the Ghost Edition. You got your season pass, your game, your poster of the galaxy, your leather-bound book, uh, your combat of arms, then you've got your photos, uh, your patches, your ghost with a code, uh, as well as some in-game trading card codes, which most of you know what those are. And this Ghost Edition by itself is going to cost you $149.99. The bad thing about this is, is this. Right here, you see right on the box, it says the Ghost Edition for the PlayStation 4. Now, does this mean it's only for the PlayStation 4 and not the Xbox One? We don't know. But what we do know is that it may cost anywhere from 400 to about 450 but we really won't know yet until it gets closer to being released. All right, now the limited edition. You know, you still get your poster of the galaxy, your leather-bound book. It's going to cost about $99.99. I don't know why they threw that in there. But you also get your two-disc game, your season pass, trading card codes, a ship, and a specialized emblem, and a special ghost. Now, this is the limited edition of the Xbox One. Now, we don't know if there is a ghost in this box because we know that there's one in the PlayStation 4, but we do not know if there is one in here. Now, both consoles will get the Season Pass. That's already been confirmed. Unfortunately, the PlayStation community is going to get it first due to exclusives. Now, un unfortunately, what this means is that they're going to get it long before we do. So, by the time they have it, we're not going to see it on Xbox One or Xbox 360 until the fall. That's right, the fall of 2015. Just remember guys, today is Bungie Day, so they may have some cool stuff on their site, but uh, the beta will begin on the 17th for PlayStation 4, and then on the 23rd, Xbox One and Xbox 360 will get theirs. Unfortunately, the beta ends on the 27th, which is kind of a downer, but thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more stuff.